Hey everyone, it's Joe and Isaiah from the Automator. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to do advanced comparison um, in GitHub with using VS Code to help highlight differences in white space. Uh, this came up because uh, someone commented in one of our videos on VS Code, which if you go to the URL below me here, you can see other uh, webinars we've done and using some really cool stuff with VS Code. And uh, it, it, to me, this whole using VS Code with the Git integration is so amazingly powerful. It brings a lot of great stuff to the table if you're trying to do stuff in an editor. Um, and I'm not a big user of VS Code though, so Isaiah is gonna walk us through it. <laughs> no worries. So basically uh, what we're gonna do, let me just share my screen real quick. And uh, you know that whenever you're working with VS Code and you want to create a commit, well, whenever you make changes to your files, here on the left side, uh, if you are in the source control, it will tell you, hey, there are some changes. You go ahead and click on it, and you would have a side-by-side -side comparison between the old version and the new version. And you have an option up here on the top right that allows you to switch between leading and trailing white space. And notice that when I do this on the right side, you get this marker specifying the line that changed because I just added one space. Now, if I want to ignore that, then you just go ahead and turn that off because white spaces, leading and trailing spaces don't matter that much. Now, the question was a little bit interesting because you said uh, the, the user asked, what about spaces inside words? Now, from a concept standpoint, then who, this word without spaces and these with spaces are two different things. So it sure. makes sense for us to see it as different things. Yeah, now, right. if you go ahead and remove this option up here, you're still going to see these two things are right. different. Now, for whatever reason, the comparison that he was trying to do, uh, he says, like, I, I don't care about that. I just care about the comparisons. Probably he's just checking if it has the right amount of characters or whatever. And he doesn't care about the spaces. Now, when you're using VS Code, that particular option is not available here in the GUI, but you can still access the full power of Git. Now, remember, Git is actually a command line tool. Git actually is a command line tool. It doesn't need a graphical user interface. And what, um, what this does actually is that it, um, it connects to one of those uh, integrations and it starts sending commands to Git like this. I don't know if you can see that, but let me, let me make it a little bit bigger. But basically, if I connect to the output of any of my uh, uh, extensions that have to do with Git, you will see that it sends a Git command oh, okay. yeah. to the, to the it, it actually sends a, a, a command line sure. uh, uh, thing. So basically you could just simply use that. You can just simply use the command line to uh, check the difference or whatever. The problem is Git is a very complex program and you might not know all the commands. The one that I'm going to show you now for what he was asking is very simple. The only thing that you have to do is open your terminal here. So you can open a new terminal or you can view the existing terminals by either using your hotkey or just clicking on view terminal that will bring up your terminal. And now you don't have to go anywhere. Inside of VS Code, you have a command line in which you can use the git command all of them, okay? Now there's one git command that you can use that is git slash w. So, so git diff, because this is what you're doing. So whenever we use the diff the differ to check the differences between files, what you're actually using is the git diff command. And if I tell it, okay, tell me the difference of the file that we have, compared to the last check that by default, it just compares to the last to the last commit, it would tell you, well, the difference is a white space. That's it. Now, if I don't want that, so let's go ahead and add a, a space between this word here. If I go ahead and do the git diff again, I should get a line was removed and it was updated to have some spaces. You see this now, in, in, in VS Code is great because you have two different kind of like editors and you see them side by side. When you're in the command line, you look at it top to bottom. 
and you will see red lines. And so the red line here is updated with this one here with the plus and the, this one is removed and this one is added. So that's how you see the differences. But if you pass the diff command, the dash W, it will ignore white spaces everywhere. So now it will tell you there are no differences because now it is uh, uh, um, uh, using this particular option. And there are some others like at end of line and some other options for the diff. The only thing that you have to do is just obviously just either use the, the help command or, you know, git help diff. And it would actually land you to the manual for the diff command. And in there, you would see which options you have available, especially for the what's the white space. So if you go ahead and check oh, for, for that option, yeah, word diff, you will be able to see different type of ways that you can compare two files. But if you do not have the option, and this is what I wanted to show you, if you do not have the option in the graphical user interface, that doesn't mean that you don't have any way of doing it. You can well, still do it. But now in the command line, that VS Code makes it convenient to just have it right there. You know, So it is very cool to just don't have to go out of the tool to sure. do something. Yeah. Yeah, you can still get a summary, even if it's not as simple as the other one, but but you can really only highlight the things that did change that I, didn't disregard. Yeah, it's, it's just going to show, yeah, it's just going to show the differences, not not the whole file. Because right. here in, in the graphical user, yeah, right. you have yeah. the whole file, right? Yeah, great but, point. Okay. Right, but 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 in in um when you use the command line, obviously they're not gonna pull up the whole thing in the right. command line. So they're just gonna show up the differences. Um and you can limit that as well. So it's okay. Now, now let me ask you what could be a stupid question here. But um earlier you you kind of showed how which which it doesn't surprise me overall, a lot of tools even if they're not command line tools, they're still tool like auto hockey is wrapping, you know, windows API calls all the time, right. With those yes. commands. Right. So, so there's something you do in your tool and it sends some other commands to whatever thing that interprets it differently. Right. My yeah. question to you is, could we actually hack this extension and, and actually change what it's passing to disregard that white space, you know, very it, likely because the thing is that one, you don't even have to hack it. You can definitely, uh, let me just one second. You can always check the um, the extension and uh, let me see, hold on. Hold on, let me, let me click on one of them. And you can get the a place where, so let me just do this. So I, I just wanted to kind of like find it directly there. But what happens is that all the extensions, all of them are installed in a folder here. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely just open that and um, modify your extension right. however you want. Now, the I remember I, I had a I had an option somewhere that it opened to open the folder. folder. Yeah, right. it opened yeah. the folder yeah. to me or it told me where it was installed. Right. I just forgot I and, and I actually use this very often uh, is it the extension by, resource over on the right the repository is that what it was saying? no not the repository but here if i just search for the thing so okay well we don't have to actually do it right. i was just asking like that is something he might look into right of yes going, hey definitely... i want to do this so much i'm going to tweak my version to actually pass the git command line you know thing the, the way i want it to be um I and mean, well yes it's conceivable is completely doable. So, and okay. that's one of the beauties of VS Code. It is open source, so you can just check right. where the things are being done, and then you just go ahead and modify it. Um, and you modify your version, but remember that when you do that, if you, you update, you. yeah, when you yeah, update, right. you lose, this, you lose right. those. Um, but in general, yes, it is completely doable. Um, and basically, yeah, that's what I, was, I wanted to show you. You have access to the real power of Git Right. Even though you do not have a graphical user interface for that particular command, you can still do it in the terminal or yeah. all the commands that you want. Awesome. Thank you. And, and remember, check out our other um, VS Code videos. Yeah. yeah, on VS Code. Cheers. There you go.